Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Arsenal and this is your latest transfer news. A new week, Monday, that means we're only two days away from the opening of the transfer window or officially opening. It's going to be a busy transfer window ahead of us. In this one, we're going to be talking about the latest on Declan Rice. We'll also be talking about the latest on Rhys Nelson. And finally, we've been linked to a fullback from Leicester City. Um, going to be very interesting to see what you guys um think about this fullback. But let's start with Declan Rice. So this was um posted yesterday night. Um, from Fabrizio Romano. So when he says next week, it means this week. So according to Fabrizio, Arsenal will enter into crucial stages of Declan Rice deal next week, which is this week once again. Official bid expected very soon after positive talks in recent days. Um, Gunners feel they're ahead of Bayern as player priorities to continue in England, but timing will be crucial for Arsenal. To be honest, I'm not really um, worried about Bayern Mini quanting him. I don't think he'd want to leave England. I think he'd want to stay um, in England. If you are up against like a Man City or Liverpool, then I would be worried. But in terms of um, him being linked um, to outside the Premier League, I think he'd want to stay in the Premier League. And after what you've had all these weeks about him agreeing everything with Arsenal, meetings with his father and everything, this is the deal that I'm not really worried about. I'm like 80% um, hopeful that it's going to be done. Um, and I think it will be done. Um, hopefully it will be done very very soon like if we can get it done like um like this week we hear um things about him coming for medical obviously um england are going to play next uh, i think uh, over the weekend so there's international games i don't know if people are able to do medicals during that stage but um it is in england and everything so and they think they will travel to malt and then they'll have a home game uh but hopefully along that period we can get him to do a medical and everything and just get this deal done but before that we actually have to agree a deal with um west Ham. but this is one i want to be ready very very quick i want him ready by the pre-season by the time we get to um let's say end of june i want him to already be i've been an arsenal player for like two weeks so that's the latest on declan rice um the transfer window opens on wednesday so let's see what happens are we going to make a bid immediately there's been other reports like from rudy galetti saying i'm um, already galetti saying that uh, we will be making um the official bid as soon as um today or tomorrow so let's see what happens with that the only thing is will west Ham um accept our bid right away or is it going to be um a couple of our bids before they accept it um if you're going to make the 92 million bid that you are told about then maybe they will accept it but um we have to wait and see we have to wait and see but this one i'm really really hoping you get it done i'd be um i'd be embarrassed i would be um very very sad if he ended up going to someone like a buyer because i don't even expect him to leave england but that's the latest on declan rice uh what's the latest on a new fullback now we've been linked to a cancelo we've been linked to a fresneda from spain this time we've been linked to a player who was playing in the Premier League for the last couple of seasons. Obviously, Leicester have been relegated, but it is Timothy Castagna. Now, according to reports on Timothy, Arsenal have started talks with Leicester City for fullback Timothy Castagne, considered a second choice behind Evan Fresneda. Things could develop very, very quickly. Now, obviously, we've heard about it, but uh, we've just recently heard about it. But there's a couple of um, transfers that we've made um, without expecting. Like Tomias, we didn't really expect us to sign Tomias. We had never heard about um, Arsenal wanting someone like a Tomias from um, the Syria. But literally on the final day of that year, he ended up joining us. And last season, Fabio Vieira, we had nothing about him. The moment we had about him, it was Fabio Vieira is on his way to do a, med a medical. So we could have one or two of those kind of players this transfer wind as well. People, um, we've not had any links to us. And then, boom, this player is coming for a medical now. Obviously, it's different with Castagne because we've heard about it before it's happening. Uh, but as in basically, no one expected us to be linked to um, a Castagne. Now, do I like him? I like him because he can play as a right back and as a left back. Now, someone like a Fresnet, I've only watched like five, six games of his. But someone like a Castagne, I've watched him for like two, three seasons. I've also watched him back at um, Atalanta and also for uh, when he was playing for Belgium in the Euros and I think in the World Cup as well. Him rotating on the right side with uh, Mounier. And he can also play as a left uh, wing back and a left back. I've always imagined him as a, as a, as a right uh, wing back and a left wing back. Like um, I think he plays that position more because he's better attacking wise. And that uh, there's been clips here and they're showing him making defensive mistakes. Everyone makes defensive mistakes. And as a backup for someone like Castagne, I wouldn't mind it. Another issue, um, according to fans, is his injuries. Now, two, three seasons ago, yes, I was worried about his injuries because um, I think him and Justin for Leicester, they were always injured. But last season, and he was able to play that seven games out of um, the 38 Premier League games. In the 2020, um, the 2020-2021 season, he missed um, 53 um, days with um, a thigh strain, 12 games. And then later on that season, he missed another five games. This 
same uh, the same um, thigh muscle strain, and then later on in the campaign he, he fractured um, the orbit and he missed 63 days. So the 2020-2021 season was uh, full of injuries for him. But uh, right after that, this season is managed to be uh, is managed to play that seven games, and also you have to take into consideration how poor Leicester have been in terms of the rest of the defenders and the goalkeeper. So. There's not been any organization in their back. But if you join someone like an Arsenal, obviously it's not coming to start. Um, we, we, we have the choice of playing Ben White there once again. We have the choice of playing Tommy Asif who's going to be, uh, be fit um, there once again. But you'll also have another uh, uh, chance of playing someone like a Castagne. He's going to be cheaper, way cheaper than Cancelo. I would have wanted someone like a Cancelo at Arsenal 100%. Like getting someone like a Cancelo would be a dream. Um, he's, he basically made that inverted fullback position. But Castagne can play as a right back and as a fullback and, uh, and as a left back. Sorry. And uh, what I said when I did the video for five positions we need to sort out, I said, I'd be very, very happy if we can get a fullback who can also play uh, both sides pretty much, left back and right back. That would make it easier. He can help Zinchenko on that other side. He can help Ben White and Tomias on that other side. Tomias can also play as a, as a left back as well. So it's it's very, very good and very ideal to have players who can fit in different positions. That is what you've been trying to do. But um, Castagne, let me know. Would you want someone like a Castagne from um, Leicester? Or are you looking for someone like a Fresneda at 20 million? Or are you looking for someone who's going to even come and start as a right back for us? Uh, what are you looking for? A backup or a starter at right back? Obviously, as I said, we've been linked to a counselor. This is the player that I would absolutely want um, at Arsenal. And according to the latest reports on him uh, for, from a couple of days ago, Fabrizio said yes, Arsenal are interested in him. Um, there's been some there's there's been some contact, and also um, according to um, K, um, Arsenal and Jar Cancelo talks between Arsenal and Jar consider of a potential move are progressing positively so we have to wait and see i think we're definitely going to get a fullback but i hope we don't know is it going to be first net is it going to be cancelo is it going to be castagna we're we going to get um someone else um that um we didn't expect so let's wait and see what happens with that what about players staying at arsenal well reese nelson we've heard about him a lot i think he'll finally sign a deal soon or he's already signed uh, but um i want this deal to be um done so that we can focus on other stuff arsenal have reached full agreement with reese nelson of a new long-term deal as we revealed weeks ago player verbally um agreed here we go it will be valid until 2027 the option for further season club waiting for risk to sign asap to avoid um new bids from other clubs so he will sign another uh he will sign a four a four-year contract that is a four-year contract and a reminder of the deals that we have now um the contracts the lengths of contracts Saka, Saliba, Martinelli, Jesus, Gabriel, and um, also now Nelson will all be tied down until 2027. Four years, that is good. Uh, Ramsdale, 2026, Ben White, 2026, and uh, Martin Odegaard, who's going to sign a new deal soon as well. It could be up to 2027 or 2028. So that would be absolutely massive. All these um, players that are going to be here uh, for the that have been here for the rebuild a very good um 2022 2023 season will be here again um next and hopefully for the next three four years as we add the team um so let's see who we are going to add the likes of rice kai said a lot of people have been asking about the little song kai said obviously we know that chelsea want him but um it's going to be that one is going to be a, a bidding one it's going to be up to um for them to decide who they want to um, sell him to. If Chelsea give them the player that they want to call it, they could end up send, selling him to Chelsea. But I'm still confident. I'm more confident about Rice joining Arsenal than I am about Caicedo. But if you can get both, as we've said, it's going to be um, massive for our midfield. So let's see what um, happens um, in, in terms of all those deals. We will be back later on with more transfer news. Thank you for watching and I'll catch up with you on the next one.